Welcome back to the channel guys. We're going to be taking a look at installing and using Decky Looter here. A great little add-on for your Steam Deck that allows you to install and manage plugins like Vibrant Deck, Proton DB badges, and other things here. A lot of fun. We're going to take a look at these four that I've been using the most recently here in the video. You can also go to a store here that they've got in Decky Looter and they got a bunch of different plugins you can get and mess around with. So this is a really cool thing uh, to be able to do with your Steam Deck and get a lot more use out of it. So let's take a look at how to get this installed. So the first thing we want to do is get started in our normal Steam OS game mode. So you're gonna to wanna to hit your Steam button to bring up your menu and go down to settings, go over to system, and then over to enable developer mode. Toggle that on. Once you do that, you can scroll all the way down to the bottom. Once you get down here, you'll see a tab now called developer. So we'll go in there, and then you're gonna to wanna to scroll down until you see CEF remote debugging. So once you see that, you want to toggle that on if you haven't already, and then it's going to ask you to restart. So we'll restart the deck. Once we get restarted and back into SteamOS, we're going to want to switch over to desktop mode to do the rest of the work. So I'll go to power, switch to desktop mode, and we'll get switched over. Now, once we're here, the first thing that you're going to want to do is go check on your user password. If you haven't created a pseudo password yet, you're going to want to do that here because you'll need that in your console to do the install. If you've already set this, you can skip this step, of course, but I haven't set one for this Steam Deck yet, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. I always use Steam for all of my passwords for the videos here because it's just easy for me to remember and I won't have any problems. So for me, I'm going to type in Steam, all lowercase, for my password. And you'll use this on a lot of different applications, actually, that you install through the console. So it's always good to have this set up and remember what you have here. So I've got mine ready to go as Steam. We'll set password. I don't need to change anything else here and we'll close out. So that's all we need to do. Now we're already prepped and ready to go when we get asked for this password down the road here when we're installing Decky Looter. So let's close this out. The next thing you want to do is use whatever browser you like to use on your Steam Deck and go search for Decky Looter. So I've got that up here in the search bar. And then you're going to want to look for the GitHub page, which I'll also have a link in the description for you as well. So we'll click on that and get over to the Decky Looter page on GitHub. And now you're going to want to go ahead and scroll down. There's a lot of great information on here for you as well if you're not familiar with Decky Loader that you can learn here. But we're going to go to the install section, latest release, and we're going to copy this command line right here because we're going to use that in console for the install. So I'll highlight that and then we'll copy. Now, if you ever need to uninstall this, they also have a command line down here that you can copy and paste in console as well to do an uninstall. So let's go ahead and get this minimized and we're going to open up our console. So we'll go over here to our applications. We'll go to all applications and then we'll scroll down and go to console. We'll go ahead and maximize this and we're going to go ahead and paste in that command line that we just copied off the website and then we'll click enter. Now I'm using a mouse and keyboard to do this. It does make it a lot easier. Now here's your pseudo password that we were just talking about. So I'm going to go ahead and type in steam. Now you won't see anything happen here. Just go ahead and type in your password and once you're done hit enter and you'll be good to go. So the console will finish the Decky Loader install here. It won't take very long at all. And then you'll be good to go and ready to restart your deck. So everything's finished up here. We'll go ahead and close out of the console. I'll go ahead and close out of the browser. And then we'll go ahead and restart our Steam Deck and that'll take us back into game mode where we can start messing with Decky Loader. All right, so now we're restarted. We're back into SteamOS game mode. You can see now we have the Decky Loader tab down here. The first thing we're gonna do is go into the settings icon right here and we're going to want to install the update. You're almost inevitably going to have an update here. So go in there and install that first before you get into doing anything else. OK, once the update's done installing, it's going to reload and refresh for you and take you back to your home screen. And now we are updated. We have Decky Loader ready to go. So we'll go back in here. We'll scroll down to Decky Loader and we're going to go over to the store icon. This is where you're going to be able to go in and download all the different plugins. I'm just going to concentrate on the four right now that I'm grabbing. So you go and click on the one you want. You click confirm. It'll install. It only takes a few seconds and then it shows you automatically that it added it to Decky Loader. So I'm going to go through real quick and add the four that I want to grab now. But you can scroll down through here and take a look at all the different plugins. Now I have all four installed here. Vibrant Deck, fantastic. Proton DB and Animation Changer. Vibrant Deck we'll take a look at here in a minute uh, in a little little bit fantastic is just a way to control and do your own fan curve so you can see your fan speed you can see your temperature and then of course you have your curve line you can use the touch screen or a mouse and you can click your different points and move these around and do like you would in a bios or a pc i do wish they had some numbers here for 
the different uh, temps and then how fast the fan's going and that type of thing like you would have in a PC BIOS. It is missing that, but I did start to figure it out and it could be pretty useful. So I'll mess around with this a little bit. It might be fun to check out. Now the other thing we have that I really enjoy here for these plugins is ProtonDB badges. You can choose different things between the size of the badges, where they're going to be positioned, but what's really cool is this gives you more information than just the Steam Deck verified or unverified or whatever the case is. So if I click on a course here, you can see it's a platinum rating uh, for Proton. I can click on the platinum and it'll take me right over to the web page and I can see other people's experiences and that type of thing and how the game would be running. Now I'm just showing verified games here because it happens to be the ones I clicked on, but this is even better for going and finding unverified or games that say they're not verified at all or unplayable and checking them on the website to see if perhaps maybe they are before you download them. So Proton DB badges is definitely one of my favorite plugins when it comes to Decky Loader. All right, so let's go ahead and get moved over to the next thing. Proton DB is really cool. We've also got the animation changer to look at. So in here, we can change our different boot and suspend videos. We can shuffle, so if we have more than one video installed and that type of thing. But we're gonna go into manage animations, and this is where you can go in and grab boot videos and that type of thing. They have over 500 right now at the time of making this video, and you can see right over here, if you tab over, your installed animations. This is also where you would go if you want to delete any of your animations or any of that type of thing. So you've also got your about section right here, not a whole lot there, and then over back to our browse animations. So once you find an animation you want to download, it's simple enough, you're just going to click on it, then you'll be able to click on download animation, only takes a couple of seconds. Once it's finished, it'll automatically be added to your installed animation section. And again, if you wanted, you could shuffle these so that it would automatically play a different one each time you booted up your Steam Deck. So we'll go back over to the settings for this plugin in Decky Loader so that we can actually choose one of these. So we'll open this up, go to boot, click on where it says default and it brings up my installed animations. I'll click on the matrix and that will apply that. Again, I could shuffle these as well if I wanted to and just have them automatically both play. So let's go ahead and get out of here. We're pretty much done with playing around here. I wanna show you Vibrant Deck, so we gotta go over to that and let's take a look at this animation as we restart. So it did work the first time, which was really awesome. This is one of my new favorite boot animations, and this is a really easy way now to be able to bring these in, delete them. You don't have to go to the desktop anymore to do that. So really cool. Now let's jump over and take a look at Vibrant Deck. Okay, so this is Pumpkin Jack, a pretty colorful game that I always thought looked pretty decent, especially on the Steam Deck, but when I started using Vibrant Deck, I kind of changed my mind. So let's go in here. You got your red, your green, your blue gammas, per game profiles you can set, which are awesome. Saturation is really what a lot of people are messing with here, and 125 to 150 seems to be a sweet spot depending on the game. So I'll set it to 150 here, and man, it really does pop and make the colors look really good. Really makes the screen look a lot nicer here on the Steam Deck, not just in this game, but in a lot of others. And it's hard to go back, as you see here. It just things look a lot flatter after you get used to all of that color and being able to adjust things. <laughs> I've also got a side by side here for you as well, and just a big difference in the picture quality and just enjoying this game with the saturation. I'm still playing around with how I like it, how much saturation in different games, but I really like that per game profile. But anyways, guys, I hope this video helped you out. A lot of fun stuff you can do with Decky Loader. I appreciate you coming to watch. As always, if you haven't already, subscribe, thumbs up, ring the bell, leave your comments for me down below, and I'll see you in the next one.